Today I'm gonna show you how to create this entire animation on just powerpoint. First go to shape and pick a rectangle. Then just drag it over here like this. Now go to format, click on shape fill and change the color to this. Now go to shape outline, make no outline. Then again pick a rectangle and make it like this. Now resize this one to get a perfect shape. Then go to format, click on shape fill and change the color to this and go to shape outline, make no outline. Now we need to pick a oval shape and place it over here. Then go to format, click on shape fill and change the color and go to shape outline, make no outline. Then duplicate this circle and place over here. Now take another circle over this one and resize it. Then select this two, go to format, click on merge shape and make subtract. Again duplicate this circle. Place over this, resize it and select this two. Go to merge shape and make subtract again. Then change this color from shape fill and place it over this circle. Now duplicate this rectangle and make it a smaller one. Then go to format, click on shape fill and change the color. Duplicate that rectangle two times more to get a spectacle. Now select all of these and press ctrl G to group them together. Then place it over here. Now select this shape and rotate like this way. Then again duplicate this rectangle and make it like this. Now go to format, click on shape fill and change this color to pink and place it over here. Now right click on it and send it to back. Again duplicate this rectangle and make it a smaller one. Now place it over here. Then resize it a little bit. Then change this color from shape fill. Now press Ctrl D to duplicate this one and change this color to this. Now make it a smaller one and place over here. Then select all of these and press Ctrl D to duplicate. Now place it over here. Then select this one, go to format, click on shape fill and change this color to this. Then again pick a rectangle and drag it over here like this. Now change this color from shape fill and make no outline from shape outline. Then press Ctrl D to duplicate this one and make it a bit wider. Then change this color to this. After that, pick a double corner rectangle shape and then just drag it over here. Now increase its roundness and make it a bit smaller. Then just change its color and make no outline. Now duplicate this rectangle and make it a smaller one. Then go to format, click on shape fill and change this color to pink. And place it over here. Now pick a trapezoid and make it like this. Now place it over the previous one and change this color to pink also. And make no outline. Now select these two shapes and press Ctrl G to group them together. Now Ctrl D to duplicate and place it over here. Then from shape fill, change this color to this. Then pick a text box and drag it over here. Now typing some text, I'm just changing his font to Blaze Day and increasing his size, make it justify and change this color to this. Now place it over here and press Ctrl D to duplicate this one and place over here. Now I'm just typing coffee. Now select this two text box, go to format, click on merge shape and make them union. Now pick a rectangle and then just drag it over here like this. Now select this text box which is in the back and this rectangle. Then go to format, click on merge shape and select combine. Now just right click on it and send it to back. Then pick a trapezoid and drag it over here like this. Now rotate this one and resize a bit. Then go to format, click on shape fill and change the color to this. Then go to shape outline, make no outline. Now just press Ctrl D to duplicate and place over here. Now pick a rectangle and drag it over this shape. Now select this two, go to format, click on merge shape and make intersect. Now just change this color from shape fill and holding the shift key drag it over this one. Then again duplicate this one and place over here. Now again pick a rectangle and drag it over this one. Now resize it 
then select this two go to format click on merge shape and make intersect now change this color from shape fill and place over this one now again pick a rectangle and make it like this then go to format click on shape fill and change the color to white and make no outline after that select all of these and press ctrl g to group them together now duplicate this one few times more and place one over here now again pick a rectangle and drag it over here like this then change this color from shape fill and make no outline now press ctrl d to duplicate this one and change this color to this now resize this one and place over here now i'm just resizing these two shapes Now pick an oval shape and holding the control shift drag it over here like this. Now control D to duplicate this one and place over the previous one. Now select this two, go to format, click on merge shape and make subtract. Now select this one and this oval shape, go to merge shape and make subtract again. Then pick this flowchart delay shape and drag it over here like this. Now rotate this one and place over here. Now resize a little bit. Now pick a oval shape and holding ctrl shift drag it over here like this. Now select this two shape go to format click on merge shape and make subtract. Then go to shape fill and change the color to this and go to shape outline make no outline. Now pick a top corner rectangle and drag it over here then increase the roundness and rotate this one. Now place over here. Then go to format, click on shape fill and change the color to white and go to shape outline, make no outline. Now just press ctrl D to duplicate and rotate like this way and make it smaller to make finger. Now I'll duplicate few times more and place them side by side. After that select all of these and press ctrl G to group them together. Now duplicate this glass shape and place over here. Now just right click on this hand shape and bring it to front. Then resize this one. Now select this two shape and press ctrl G to group them together. After that select this small shape and press ctrl D to duplicate. Then just increase its height like this way. Now place this one in the exact middle of the circle. Now select this hand shape and this one right click on it and select bring to front. Now I need to select few shapes from here and again bring them to front. Then holding the shift key drag this rectangle to the upward. Now select this hand shape and press ctrl D to duplicate. Then place it over the previous one. Now holding the shift key drag the new one to here. Then go to animation, click on add animation and select more motion paths. Now from here select right and press ok. Then holding the shift key drag this red dot over here. And change the duration to 0.15 second. Now again go to add animation, select more exit effects and from here select disappear and press ok. Then just set start after previous. Now select this hand shape, go to add animation, select appear and from here set start after previous. Now select this rectangle, go to add animation, select more motion paths and from here select down and press ok. Then holding the shift key drag this red dot to down. And from here set start after previous and the duration 3.25 seconds. Then go to home and pick a oval shape then just drag it over here like this. Now press ctrl D to duplicate this one and place over here. Now duplicate few times more. Then select all of these, go to format, click on merge shape and make them union. Now change this color from shape fill and make no outline. After that right click on it and send it to back. Then go to animation and from here select fly out and set with previous and the duration 3.25 seconds. After that select this hand shape again. Go to add animation, select more motion paths and from here select left and press ok. Then holding the shift key drag this red dot to the left. 
and set start after previous and the duration 1.5 seconds. Then go to home and pick a rectangle. Then just drag it over this shape. Now go to format, click on shape fill and change the color to this. And go to shape outline, make no outline. Then press ctrl D to duplicate this one and place over here. Now change this color to this and make it smaller one. Then duplicate this rectangle and place it over the previous one and decrease its height to cover the upper part. Now select these two shapes from here and press ctrl D to duplicate and place over here. Now from merge shape select fragment. And now delete the lower parts from here. Then just place this one over here. And we are done. You can download this template for free. I have given the link in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share with your friends. Hope to see you in the next tutorial and thanks for watching.